Hello, my name is Nemo, and I am an aspiring animator. And this was one of my earlier animations when I finally got a program that I was comfortable with uh, to animate in, even though I've had Photoshop and Blender and uh, OpenTunes to experiment with. This is uh, one of my early ones. I know I have older ones of like um, somewhere around the internet with a stick figure bouncing a ball with like little to no understanding of how it works. If I wanted to be really accurate about what my first animation was, quote unquote, it would be the dancing girl art that I did when I was like three or four or something that my mom kept um, when I was a child. It was supposed to be like a uh, a project in in the class where we had to take our name and use the letters to create a drawing of some sort and I made a dancing girl with my unspoken dead name so uh, figure that out as you like um, but of course do not utter it so that was my first project at the time and here is the, the, the first one that I did with the Clip Studio Paint, where I, I felt comfortable using that. Although, I do want to, like, eventually have enough money to purchase one of the more uh, industry standard programs. But I'm also letting uh, myself be kind to myself and others that you don't need to have those industry standards. I mean, it works if you want to have an industry standard job, but... You can create whatever you want, wherever you want. So this was my first one. When I was like having no uh, semblance of the rules or anything among other things. But yeah, t suffice to say, I've always been interested in animation since I was a child. And I decided that uh, sometime after this first waving animation that um, it's easy for me to say that I love it and the techniques involved in the art form. It's just that I never really sat down to practice the foundational principles. So uh, I created a series of animated exercise from the animation exercises listed at the Animator's Island. 51 great animation exercises to master, uh, which include the ball bouncing in place, on a loop. That is the first one that they teach. Um, and then a uh, bouncing ball across the screen, which I guess I didn't do, but uh, I will figure that out in a later animation as part of the exercise, so I think that kind of counts. Uh, brick falling from a shelf onto the ground I have not done that, so maybe I should do that next um, before I finish uh, making this video. And then the simple character head turn. So here I use my uh, model of the uh, recent Pokemon Generation 9, Sprigatito, and I practice the head turn here. Now initially when I created this animation, uh, I figured since it was a simple round shape, it would be easy for me to rotate, replicate over and over, and it'd be fine. And here, when I first did it, um, yeah, in the, in the first part, I got it to do the blinking, which was not required until a later part of the exercise of level one. So instead, I decided to throw in anticipation and I did a little bit, but it was hard to see with the uh, the timing and spacing that I had yet to master, but I was figuring out. So um, a little bit closer to the end, as I am creating this video, I started going back to some of these older animation exercises and fixing them so that the anticipation early on in the animated piece was more uh, clear to read can see it in the, the way the ears go down as the head goes up and then if you want to like slow down this video and uh, click on the carrot keys you can probably see frame by frame those different frames that I drew 
to uh, work on that and slow it down as you please. And then I was able to fix the timing a little bit so that it ran a little bit smoother, at least for my eyes. So I'm, I'm happy with it now. Next, um, let's see. Uh, by the way, that timeline for like that, the first animation that I'm showing for the waving was May 30th of 2020. And then the, the, the showing the spacing and timing of the ball going across the screen was April 7th of 2022. And then I did the bouncing ball the same day, which was kind of an exercise based on the, uh, you know, the difference between like a realistic ball falling and a, more of a cartoon ball falling. Um, and I was trying to replicate that. And then uh, I did this, the first series of Spricatito uh, exercise with the head turn April 30th, the second version with anticipation April, or no, not April, July 5th, 2022. And then I did the more fixed up version February 7th of 2023. So next, uh, I did a thinking exercise. And this one, I just kind of wanted to get the exercise done. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a self-animation uh, of myself thinking, like, what do I want to animate for thinking? And then going, oh, yeah, I could do that. You know, I, so some of that is some expression and trying to think of something that I do when I'm thinking, which is kind of hard to do when you're thinking about thinking. Do you, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what I did. Sometimes I stroke my chin. And I know those are things that other people can do. And I, I did some studying based off of the, uh, the Illusion of Life book where uh, the authors talk about um, things that they observed in their peers and other people. So uh, I'm probably like with uh, the pandemic ongoing for me, at least for other people, they might not think it exists anymore, but for me, it does. Anyway, I'm probably going to be studying people from afar to see if I can like detect like what their thinking habits are. Are they like scratching their belly? Are they scratching their head? Are they, uh, are they turning their head quizzically to the side? Uh, are they, uh, you know, um, like what are they doing to give off this look that they're thinking about something or thinking of a response, if anything. So I kept it pretty simple and I may or may not go back to fix this later, but I'm not like holding myself accountable to that. It's just what I felt like needed fixing or something that was like fixable in the moment based off of my learning. I may look at this years later or months later and be like, okay, I know how I can improve this and then I might do it. But again, don't hold your breath. I'm not holding my breath and I just want to make sure that I get these foundations down um, and that might come up in different ways in how I uh, do one of the later exercises for level two. Next, uh, I did a uh, flower sack waving. The first version I... You know, I, I did it, I uploaded it February 1st, 2023. And then uh, I noticed later on that like near the bottom left, I have a kind of like a wiggle going on, which is not desirable. So I fixed it a little bit with, after a week and um, I like it better now. And I don't wanna do anything more to change that based on the needs of the exercise. Later, there was a flower sack jumping. So I decided to get a little bit more fun with it and I uh, worked on that squash and stretch that I learned about from the uh, Illusion of Life book and um, worked that in to part of the anticipation where the, the flower sack you know squats down so to speak before uh, doing kind of a backflip slash headstand I guess I mean if you want to ca call the top of the the, the, fl the, the flower sack a head um, since it's not really a complete rotation, it's just a 180 rotation. I mean, maybe I could, like, throw in another rotation just to see if, like, uh, that could be done, but I didn't feel like doing it, so I didn't do it. So you get that, you get a backflip, and then something that I was remembering is that, like, things like dust settling or smoke, pretty organic stuff, so 
really like how I just naturally let that happen and it looks okay. So it's like, it's fine. Could I improve it? Probably, but I don't know how yet, but I'll learn. Maybe, probably, who knows. So I improved that. Uh, I did the uh, flower sack falling from a shelf, or I guess falling. And I suppose like when you have a flower sack jumping and falling, that's kind of the same thing too. But I guess I'll have to experiment with uh, the brick falling um, in a later animation as I create this uh, audio recording and the uh, ongoing edits of this video. So I might actually put that later according to the uh, time of creation. Next I did the, uh, the final level of the level one of the animation exercises where I have a flower sack kicking a ball and so I decide to keep it simple. I have it kind of pivot its way, put its foot back, I guess, and then I make it connect and I I make it simple for myself. I don't do a whole lot of uh, attention on the the ball itself, although I probably should have, which I do change in the later version of this, which is a little bit longer, and I focus on the flower sack losing its balance and falling backwards and into kind of a heap while the ball cartoonishly, of course, bounces around the screen and rolls back toward the flower sack. Later I go back to see how I can improve this and I decide to put a little bit of more anticipation in the kickback of the flower sack, you know, as it gears up for that kick going one, two, and then boom, connecting. Like I said, you can like go through this frame by frame by hitting the carrot keys on your keyboard if you're watching this on YouTube, and then uh, I add in a little bit more stretch to the ball as it bounces around the screen, and I think that helps improve it as well. And then I add a few more frames here and there to improve the, uh, the bouncing across the screen, which is minimal, and I should probably fix that in a later animation where I somehow, I guess, skipped the uh, earlier animation exercises, and uh, I really should go back and do that. So. Um, so let's get to that. Okay, so I went back and decided to uh, discipline myself a little bit, uh, making sure that I actually completed level one of the animation island exercises so that I can actually say that I did and not cop out. So uh, I have to say that the ball bouncing was fine because I kind of already incorporated that through the timing, spacing, and the, uh, the movement as the flower sack had kicked it. What I will say is that due to my own foolishness that I paid for is that uh, the brick exercise, I ended up having two bricks in there and then um, you may see it here and there, and, and, but accidentally, well maybe not accidentally, easily I paid the price by redoing it while working on it where I decided to just redraw the second brick that is in 2D essentially and uh, redraw all the frames for that so that they could be separated and I would not lose too much of the shape of the first brick over time when I was um. redrawing everything which was a nightmare so uh, lesson learned and uh, I guess that concludes my journey through level one of animation exercises from the animators island and next time, I hope to complete level 2. Thank you for watching, and I hope you look forward to more.